Hola chicos, hola amigos, how are you? Um, Trisha here in Puerto Morelos. Um, we're just kind of recording right now because we realized we had a lot of good feedback on the, um, the recording that we made about living in Mexico and traveling to Mexico. And we had a lot of great support and we realized that it's a need because there's so much negative media about Mexico right now and um, we've even heard of people canceling their vacations and even their weddings. So we just kind of want to go around and show you Mexico, show you the, the real of it, not what you see on TV, not what you see uh, others promoting on other social media. We just want to take you around and enjoy the views of what we have before us right here in Puerto Morelos with the second largest reef in the world here. Um, but we're going to go for tacos right now, of course. When in Rome or when in, when in Mexico, eat tacos. So anyways, we'll see you in a minute. So today in Puerto Morelos, you can see it's a very cloudy day, but still people out enjoying the beach and the beauty of what we have right here. It's very calm. As you can see, it looks like a pool. Um, it's, it's muy tranquilo. and um, I'm actually just doing a few interviews with people that are visiting Mexico. We live here. You live here? Okay, how long have you guys lived here? Uh, two and a half, two years. Good, so me too. I've lived here for like two years. So the reason for this video, and you know, we, we will delete it if, if you're not okay with it, um, but the reason for this video is that I don't know if you guys have heard about the travel advisory coming to Mexico. Oh yeah. Okay, what do you think about it? It's crafted by the U.S. government to uh, put pressure for NAFTA. Yeah, deeper than I even understand. But yeah, that's our main thing is that, you know, I, I've lived here for two years and I'm originally from Iowa. Where are you guys from originally? Minnesota. Minnesota? Okay, there's a lot of people from Minnesota here, right? In Canada. Uh, yeah, in Canada too. So my name's Trisha. What's your name? Andy. Andy. And the girls? ¿Cómo se llama? Como Carla. Carla? Emilia, mucho gusto. No, so you feel like it's something that's kind of made up to be against Mexico, essentially. Well, I don't think it's made up, but yeah, I think it's blown up, um, magnified to put pressure on Mexico for the NAFTA trade agreement. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's always concerns wherever you travel and throughout the world, not just in Mexico. Uh, yes, Mexico does have some drug activity that cannot be ignored. And you always have to keep your wits about you when you're here. Yes. But uh, has it changed at all this month compared to last month prior to this travel advisement? No. It, it's, it's still the safety is the same. and. Of course, wherever you go, you got to keep your wits about you. Exactly, and that's that's kind of our our idea is, too. Is that you know I'm I'm from Iowa, and a lot of people think it's the Midwest and it's quiet and there's no danger, but there's actually a lot of danger there too. We have a big problem with drugs um, and other crimes as well. We've had more murders in St. Paul, where we're from, the, within this last summer than we have had here. Right. So, and you know, for people here, it's, we're used to this life, but others that see us on TV or, or, you know, the social medias, you know, you're walking here alone with your two small girls on the beach and many people would think that this is so dangerous and, you know, you're, you're here with two little girls and Mexico has this whole different um, view, I feel like, in the United States and, and Canada. Um, but do you feel safe here? Yeah. Well, thank you for taking the time with us. We're just trying to bring awareness and show Thanks, people. Thank yeah, thank you, gracias. And just let people know that, you know, we live here too. And, and, you know, obviously there's a lot of tourism here that a lot of people depend on. But for me, it's more important to share with people how beautiful this place is. Because we've even heard of people canceling their weddings, their vacations, um, their family trips here, you know? So it's, yeah. it's really sad, actually. I feel sad for them that they're missing out on such a, a culture and activities. So. 
But like, thank you so much. I yeah. feel it's it's actually safer here than what it is in the U.S. Um, but wherever you go, always keep your your head about you. Yeah, exactly. So thank you so much. Okay. And again, Mucho we really gusto. appreciate. Mucho gusto, igualmente. Gracias, yeah, niñas. Bye. You are visiting Puerto Morelos from where? From Uruguay. Uruguay. Now, how did you hear about Mexico, coming to visit Mexico? Well, Why Mexico, I guess? Well, so my so. cousin, after she lived in Australia and then in Sweden, she, she is living here now for some months and I was missing her, so I tried to be and have fun with her here in Mexico too. Good. And what, what activities have you done here in Mexico? I went to the Cenotes, I went to Chichen Itza, I went to Playa de Carmen, and relaxing wow. and peaceful here in Puerto Morelos now. You like it here? I really like it. I enjoy much, and I walking, sunset, beach, drinking, <laughs> and... Being. It doesn't get any better than that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, would you... Are you coming back? Sure, sure. <laughs> I, I don't want to go back to my country. We don't, we don't want him to leave either. This guy is so much fun. So, I, so when you come back, what do you plan on doing? Well, next time, maybe I will... Oh, I am thinking in like not moving here, but to stay longer. Okay, how, longer. Long, how long do you want to stay? Uh, maybe for half a month or a whole month. Oh, because amazing. there are so many things to do that you need only time. Yeah. Yeah. So when you come back, we will be happy to have you. But overall, we want to know, did you feel safe? Really safe. Really you feel safe. But what do you think about the travel advisory that the United States has warned people to travel <laughs> in Mexico? I think it's not fair because here uh, I've been walking at night, a day, alone. And I, people come to you to, to help you. If you need help, people here are open to give you anything you need. So they are all so open-hearted that it's not fair for that to be said. For the culture. So you appreciate the, the people, the culture? I am glad to have come here. I will be glad to come back. And it's the best, my best holidays I ever got. Ah, and I've been yeah. to Europe, to And USA. this guy, he travels all the time. Where have you been? I've been in Europe, most of it. I've been in USA, I've been in almost all South America, but here people are, as you see them, yeah. open-hearted and every time helping and uh, good, good discos, uh, <laughs> the party is good, good persons, good prices and secure. Perfect. Well, thank you guys. And uh, this is Mariano. He will be back to Mexico soon.